you guys. I bought it. I caved and I bought it. So now we have today's video, which is a review video. Subscribe. I upload Mondays and Fridays. While you're at it, hit that bell button uh, so you're notified when I do upload on those days. And while you're down there, just go ahead and uh, hit that like button because I spent $54 on this. Yes, I hopped on the bandwagon and dragged the ever-living crap out of this palette when I first saw the swatches from Allure magazine, but I didn't know Allure just sucked at swatching. We live and learn. Sorry, Urban Decay, if you're watching. You didn't deserve to be snatched bald by my comments. I do retract those statements. For right now, I retract those statements. I was not sent this. I purchased this with my own money. I bought this the night it came out on Urban Decay's website. It got here within less than a week, so the shipping was pretty fast. I got free shipping because this was over $50. After tax and everything, it was about $58 though, so I'm gonna round it up to 60 bucks. I, my standards are gonna be higher when I buy something rather than when it's get, given to me for free, and that's just the, that's just the truth about it. Um, I'm just being honest. I'm being real with you guys right now. So I wanted to purchase this and see if it's actually worth the 60 bucks that it costs because you know Morphe got a 35-0 out that is basically this with more shades and it's only like 20 bucks less if you use my coupon code Thomas at checkout. But I just wanted to see if it's worth the money, if it's worth the hype, if it's worth the controversy. This is what it comes in, this like little box thing and it just slides right out. This is this is the box. It's really it's really it's really cute. Here it just just comes out. There's matches. How how appropriate? I don't I don't know. And then this is the Naked Heat palette. I gotta say this packaging is absolutely stunning. This is probably the prettiest packaging I've ever seen Urban Decay do in my my opinion. I have the other Naked palettes and they're like cute or whatever. Oh, you know what? I forgot I didn't have my autofocus on. Hold on. So as I was saying, it comes in this beautiful packaging right here. Honestly, I think most of your money is going towards the packaging. I'm being completely honest with you. Inside comes this huge mirror. I am kind of obsessed with this mirror, I think it's such a good, sturdy, high quality mirror. It still has the film on it though. How do you take it off? And I think it's really cool that you get a brush, a dual ended brush, so you get a blending side and a shader side. So that's really cool. I appreciate that. I appreciate them thinking about that. And it's nice quality. Now for the real reason why we're here, the swatches and the performance of this palette. Yeah, let's get right into the swatches. I'm gonna go into voiceover mode for this part, so. You, you don't you don't care. Anyways, let's just get into the swatches. All right, so I'm gonna start with some swatches. I'm gonna be going from my left to my right. I will be swatching with my finger and with the brush. And for my brush today, I'll be using a flat shader brush from this Unicorn brush set. I was not too wild by these swatches. Um, they were just kind of mediocre to me. I was kind of worried when I was swatching these. I was just like, ooh. Are these going to be great? Especially with the first set of swatches I did, they just came out pretty mediocre, especially with a brush swatch. And the shimmer shades aren't too vibrant. He Devil was horrible to swatch. He Devil was just like not wanting to show up. And neither was Dirty Talk with the brush swatch. I, it, I was a bit concerned, but the next round of swatches were actually pretty nice. I actually thought the second half of this palette was way more pigmented than the first half, with the exception of one shadow.
that being en fuego. En fuego was not very fuego in my opinion. I had to keep packing it on and it just it just was not it just was not wanting to budge. I, yeah. Overall, the swatches were pretty mediocre in my opinion. I wasn't too wowed by them. The breast swatches were pretty patchy and yeah, I wasn't I was very concerned, to say the least. I was very, very concerned. Here are both of my arm swatch, all the shades together. Screenshot now, sis. And let's move on. Shadows were kind of patchy here and there, swatching with a brush and my finger. I feel like the finger was a lot better and I did not use a primer at all on my hand or on my arm. Now, of course, shadow swatch completely different than how they'll actually perform on the eye. I just want that to be understood. Swatches don't always tell you the truth behind how a shadow will perform. Now, I haven't used this on my eyes yet, so let's get right into the tutorial part of this video. I asked you guys on Twitter what you guys wanted me to do, and you guys asked me for like a coppery, smoky eye, and I guess that's what I'm doing today. So let's get right into this tutorial and see how this performs. I'm first gonna go in with my Morphe M573 brush. This is a beautiful, amazing blending brush. If you guys want a favorite makeup brushes video, let me know and I'll film that for you. Um, I'm first gonna go in with this brush. Also, you guys know I have a I have a discount code with Morphe so you guys can save some money off of Morphe. It's Thomas in all caps, you can use it in checkout, at checkout, or in store, in case you guys are wondering. I haven't, I haven't talked about my Morphe code in a long time, so I just, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just, okay. So I'm first gonna go into Sauced as my transition shade type of thing, and I'm going to, ooh, there's a lot of kickback. Well, I like the blendability of this shade so far. Okay. So Sauce, so far, is a really good blendable shade. I like that it can be built up as well, so it could be really soft or really, really deep. Next, taking my Smith 230 brush, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go into the shade Cayenne. This shade right here, Cayenne. I'm going to deepen up the crease and the outer edges a little bit more. I think I'm gonna go for like a smoky, halo-eye type of situation. I don't know yet. This is really pretty. I like how blendable these are. I'm just gonna go in with my Morphe M441 brush and just blend those edges out a little bit. <sighs> I'm mad, I wanted to hate this. Why are you good? Next, taking my Morphe M506 brush, I'm gonna go into In Fuego and deepen these inner and outer corners a little bit more. Why is this palette literally slaying my life right now? I'm gonna go into Ashes with the same brush and just deepen it up even more. And Fuego didn't really give me that depth that I wanted. If you don't have this brush and you have hooded eyes, you're kind of missing out. It's blending like an absolute dream. I wish I was making this up. I really wish I I really wish I was making this up because I really wanted to hate this palette, but it's blending like a dream. I'm gonna try to go in with Ounce, this shade right here with my Morphe M224 brush, this nice flat brush right here. And I'm gonna pack that on the center and see if it gives me what I need. Hmm. It's cute, but I kind of just want to shimmer in the center of the lid. I'm actually just going to go into Lumber right here just to see how it looks. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not, but I'm just going to go into it just for the sake of having only naked heat on my eyes right now. Uh, I'm going to try to wet my brush and see if that helps it out at all. because that's kind of whack thus far. Okay, I'm gonna pack some on the brush again. I 
Okay, that helped it a little bit. Just for the sake of having this look be what I want it to be, I'm gonna go into my Makeup Revolution London Ultra Blush Palette and I'm gonna go into this light shade right here and pop it in the center of my eye. Okay, we're back from whatever the fuck just happened. Okay, so now that I have the eyes the way that I want them to be, I'm gonna now do my lower lash line. And for that, what am I gonna take? I'm gonna take Cayenne with my Dose of Colors pencil brush and smoke that under there. I'm just gonna kind of mimic the halo eye I did up at the top of my eyes on the bottom of my eyes. So I think that'll be really pretty. I'm, pretty, I'm really happy with how this eye look is turning out. So I'm gonna put on some eyeliner, lashes, mascara, and all that stuff, and I'll be right back with my final thoughts on this palette. <laughs> This is, a, this is a good one. So what are my final thoughts on this palette, you might ask? Uh, I'm genuinely surprised. I thought I was gonna hate the ever-living shit out of this palette, and I don't. Um, it's not bad, it's not a bad quality palette. In fact, I actually enjoyed working with this palette. It was very blendable and very easy to use. The swatches were kind of iffy. The swatches kind of like made me feel like I was gonna hate Hate this palette just like I thought I hated it before that's besides the point now do I think you need this palette in your life that's up to you I personally feel like I could go the rest of my life without using this palette because I do have the Morphe 35O I have other palettes that are just like this I don't see this being like a holy grail type of palette that being said if you are a makeup lover if you enjoy Urban Decay products you'll really love this palette i do recommend this palette if you don't have a palette like this maybe you might enjoy this i don't think you necessarily need this palette especially when there's the morphe 35o which is a full-on dupe for this palette let me just show you this is the morphe palette you get 32 eyeshadows this is what the morphe 35o looks like and then next to it i think these are pretty similar you get more shadows and more options and more variety in this palette and you get just 12 shades in this palette so the Morphe Brushes palette is, this is about 22 bucks, but if you use my discount code, THOMAS in all caps, you can get money off. If you guys are interested in the colors or the shades in this palette, you can find it in the Morphe Brushes palette, like spot on, like dead on dupes. I'm really upset that this palette was so good. I thought I was gonna hate it, but I don't. It's actually really good, and I did buy this with my own money. The one thing I will say is the shimmers are kind of lackluster. The only two shimmers that I find any sort of that have any sort of punch are Scorched and Ember. Personally, I don't think it's necessarily worth the money. I find the same performance in my Morphe brushes or my ColourPop shadows. So $54 is really going towards the packaging and the name. I do approve of this palette and I think it's amazing. It hurts my soul to say that because I was so against it, but here we are today making this video. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you're going to buy this palette or if you got this palette and if you like it, let me know. I want to know. If you haven't already, please give me a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe. Please subscribe. I'm almost at 100,000 subscribers and I'm so, 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 so excited. So please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button because I'm going to be posting every Mondays and Fridays from now on. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!